Good morning, everyone. I'm Kathy. Welcome back to Kathy's Happy Home. It's Sunday morning, and we're getting ready to go to church. We're having a special speaker today. It's Father's Day when I'm recording this. I'm not sure when you're going to see it because I have a lot of videos to show you. But anyway, after church, we're going to take a little trip, overnight trip, down to... Cape May Courthouse and Wildwood again. And of course I'm going to take you with me. So let's go. This all looks so familiar. Could we have been here just a couple of weeks ago? Remember this bridge from the last video I did? Chartering service for the new church was absolutely fantastic. I saw so many of my friends there and people from our church were there too, besides just Joe and me. And uh, you saw the pictures of us coming back. We're staying in the same place that we stayed before, but this room is very different. And if I was staying here for more than one night, I would not be liking it. Let me show you around. Here's the front door. And I'll show you out the window. No ocean view this time. Um, this table is right inside the door, but it's pretty rickety. Um, the sofa. Not so nice. And then there's a lamp. The TV. Teeny tiny. Here's the kitchen. It's all right. But the bathroom. Oh my goodness. I don't know how we can even use it. Let's go into the bedroom. I can only get one with two double beds. Another teeny, teeny, tiny TV. Their conditioner is up on the wall. Not very nice at all. The other room we had had a closet. 
This just has a hanging bar. But you know what? It's just one night. Well, it's 4 a.m. on Monday morning. We had such a wonderful time yesterday. The chartering service was so beautiful. The people there are so friendly, so nice. It's like going in a different world. And they all said they want us to move down here so we can be a part of their church. <coughs> we were even offered the use of the condo of uh, one of the elders um, the only, and for free, for, for a week, for free. Uh, the only thing is, we the only thing we'd have to pay is having a dinner with them, which is a hard thing to do. Uh, his wife is such a sweetheart. I love her dearly. I've only known her for like a week at annual conference and then, you know, here and there. Um, <clears throat> such wonderful people in that church. Not that I don't have wonderful people in the church I attend, but uh, these people are terrific. They've just embraced us. <laughs> um, when we got back to the uh, motel, we got, um, we had snacks, because there was a lot of food there. And uh, we had eaten there. So we just got snacky stuff here, and uh, just so we had something to take our medicine with. But now, um, next day, and I'll tell you, this is such an entirely different experience than the first time we were here, and we will never, ever come back here. Um, for one thing, uh, I, I, I put my tablet and uh, my glasses, instead of putting them on the table next to the bed, I put them on the bed next to me. And my glasses fell behind the bed and I can't get them. So when Joe gets up, I'm going to have him help me move the bed away from the wall. I, I could move the bed away from the wall myself, it's not that heavy, but I'm going to get him to help me so I can't get my glasses because I didn't bring my second pair so everything is really blurry. Um, I kept hearing water dripping all night. I looked around, I could not find a drip. Not in the sink, um, in the kitchen area, and not in the basin and not in the tub, and then I looked up, and right over the tub, there is water coming through the ceiling. There is no way we can take a shower this morning, and I am certainly going to tell them about it when I check out. Um, this furniture is broken. I mean, it's very clean, very, very clean, I will say that for them, but really for the price I'm paying for this room. This is just not acceptable. And I won't be back. On Just on this block, there's four other motels. I didn't have to choose this one. Um, but it's one night, like I said, I slept good. It was a very, very comfortable bed. So I did sleep very well. Joe is still asleep. Um, I'm not going to wake him up. I'm going to let him sleep. It's uh, a long ride back. It's two and a half to three hours. Uh, what we plan to do today when we get up is to uh, go get breakfast at Uncle Bill's Pancake House and then to go down to the boardwalk to that wonderful fudge shop, Fudge Island, and uh, get some fudge to take home. I have never in my life had fudge as good as Fudge Island. Um, it's the creamiest, most delicious fudge ever. And when I'm this close, I'm not going to miss the opportunity to go get some fudge. Um, and then tomorrow I'm teaching 
Bible study, and I have to study that. We're still in the Sermon on the Mount, and uh, it's on, and I did know this, we just finished fasting, and I, my mind has gone blank. So, it's in Matthew chapter 6, whatever the section is after fasting, that's what we're doing. So, while Joe is still asleep, I think I'm going to read over some commentaries and sort of get my head around what I want to say. Um, I will show you some more uh, when we get up and going today, but that's what's going on. Uh, you're going on a lot of trips with us this year, aren't you? And there's more coming. Uh, so, I will see you soon. I just said to you that I'm going to read some and try to, uh, some commentaries and try to f figure out what I want to say tomorrow in Bible study. And I realized I don't have my glasses and I can't read. <sighs> Go and let you see where it's dripping. Although it's not dripping at this moment. You can still see the weight patch. I mean, the, the wet patch. Here is the view out of the bedroom window. Let's see, uh, the sun rising. I know that isn't the moon, that's a reflection in the window of the sun. Oh, hey, he Joe got my glasses from under the bed for me. If we're in Wildwood, you know we're having breakfast at Uncle Bill's. We are both having the Wildwood plate. This time I remembered to take a picture before we start eating. Joe has scrambled eggs, home fries, and scrapple, and rod toast. And I have poached eggs, home fries, and sausage. We stopped at the Farley rest stop again, and outside they have this wonderful garden, um, I guess nursery. Look at these geraniums. And over here, there's all kinds of herbs. Tomato plants. We have a little farmer's market too. Well, as you can see, we're home now. It's, um, Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. We came home on Monday. Um, it was another really great time except for the room. Uh, I never saw a church being chartered before and becoming a church, per se. Uh, so that was really interesting. I love seeing my friends there. Um, right now I'm Back in my favorite spot, the VA hospital parking lot, waiting for Joe to get done with his doctor's appointment. Um, I'm, my legs are really bothering me, so I don't want to do all that walking around in there. But we liked it so much that we're actually going back again in July. So uh, I'll have to take you along with that one too. I wish I had bought some veggies at that farmer's market. All I could think of was, I really want to go sit down, and I didn't. I didn't. So, um, when we go in July, I am going to make it a point of going there first and getting some fresh veggies and fruit to take home with me. 
um, as I was going to the car I saw this girl pass me with some oranges and some avocados and I said what are you thinking of Kathy why didn't you buy some and I didn't I'm now kicking myself and thinking oh I should have bought a couple tomato plants too and I didn't do that either but that's how it goes my yard is such a wreck and I'm trying so hard to get it cleaned up but my legs don't want to cooperate and uh, it'll get done it just is getting done very slowly so I am going to end for now I will see you really soon and I hope you have a wonderful day